Hello, in my last video I, I showed that I'd managed to buy a pair of uh, loudspeakers for this budget system that I'm putting together and they were the Q Acoustics 2010i. So I've um, had a chance to listen to those speakers in, in this system and uh, draw some conclusions as to how how I, I have found that it, it they've complemented the system. And I, I've been really delighted. Um, it, it, it does add some... Uh, nice uh, articulation and, and crispness to the actual overall sound um, seems to really blend in well and adds a little bit uh, of that nice balance to the system. Um, the, the 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 speakers themselves and and, and I guess the the highlights really for me, uh, which was I was expecting to some extent, but certainly didn't expect the speakers to achieve uh, this particular aspect uh, as well as they've they've done and um, they they really image superbly well so by that what, what I mean is when I'm in my listening position then which is um, in in the chair there you can see um, then the space in front of me the image of the music and the musicians and the the uh, performers then uh, it's it, it sort of produced then in in a, a very believable then space sort of in front of me between the speakers in front of the speakers and beyond the speakers so some uh, a real good sound stage there and uh, it's as, almost as though that the, the, the speakers are um, have completely disappeared and because the sound doesn't appear to be coming from the speakers at all um, so the sound seems to be coming from the, the, the space uh, between uh, in front beyond and in in, in sort of the, the space around the speakers as opposed from the speakers themselves which is something which is you know a, a characteristic then of, 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 a, of a good stand mount um, speaker and it's something that uh, I've experienced before when I've had some really good stand mount speakers in my system so uh, you know again it achieved that with ease uh, um, the overall system I was able uh, you know with ease to play this at my normal uh, listening volumes without any problem at all uh, enough headroom uh, in the system as well to be able to, 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 to drive the music a little bit uh, louder if I needed to. Um, played I've played CD and vinyl, but majority of the time I've been using vinyl just to really assess the system and uh, to be sure that I'm pleased with everything. And uh, yeah, played some quite uh, challenging stuff as well. Um, some big band stuff. And, uh, I just show actually. I mean, I have the record I've got on the turntable there, and it's um, Buddy Rich, Mr. Drums. Uh, yeah, it gives a good, a good scale to the overall sound, which uh, again is impressive at this particular price point. Um, mid range for me it, it is is you know one of the sort of par more paramount importance then really when when uh, it comes to listening to music because and and it, it, it you know is it really important I think to get that mid range right because and it does it really well this system um, I think that. I mean, it, it, to my in my mind anyway, and I, I, what I what I the way I think of mid range is if you can get the mid range of sound very very good, then everything else becomes so much easier. So, for instance, there is that uh, more believable then experience when you're listening to to music, a singer, a performer that ability then for the speakers to image well and to almost disappear and the music to come from the space 
the, the, the actual mid-range has to be of the, the right size in some match then uh, and the right type of scale so that it's not overpowering, it's not actually taking anything away from any other part of the actual uh, presentation and this does it really really very well indeed and you know I've got some like some records I've actually just put them on the windowsill temporarily um, for instance some vocalists uh, of Booker T Jones we got uh, Al Green um, I played a lot more records as well uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it was really, really easy to sit in my listening position there and just have that connection then with the actual production and the music and and uh, to have that almost believable then image of being able to place where the singers were in that space in front of me where the drummers were the drummer was and the um, the guitar the the actual uh, the keyboards piano uh, just show a few records there the one on the left there is uh, Max Roach uh, we've got Talk Talk to next Dave Brubeck Booker T Jones uh, Al Green Ben Webster Soulville is the next to that one and of course uh, Abbey Road the Beatles but um, yeah played some CDs as well overall delighted I mean at, at it's come within budget which is which is really pleasing too so yeah just thought I'd just have a little, do a little video just giving drawing some conclusions on how well these speakers seem to have worked they are reported as well and uh, you know that there is that versatility then to be able to actually position the speakers in in different ways whether nearer to the back wall or further out in front away from the wall dependent on 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 the room and the acoustics and what have you so that's one of the, the the benefits as well of having stand mount speakers but uh, overall really really pleased with the outcome of it so uh, yeah thanks for watching the video um i'll i'll do a final video on this particular project uh, soon and uh yeah thanks again bye bye